pretty exciting news just dropped that Xbox is now integrating, or at the very least, it's in the beta stage, Steam and Epic Games into the Xbox store. So basically what that means is that all the games that you already own on Steam and Epic, you can now launch from the very own Xbox app. This is currently in alpha. You would have to technically sign up for this. This is a alpha feature so it's not into the general public as of late but i can show you how to actually get in so what you want to go is head over to the store microsoft store type in pc insider hub it should pop up right here and you just download it so once you download that, open it. And then you want to head to previews. And then it's going to show you all the beta features that's currently in alpha testing. And you're going to see PC gaming. So this is going to be like updates and stuff that is in a trial, essentially. So you're going to be testing these before the general public. And they got to do it. will say something like join here. And because I'm already in, obviously. So. You know, you click join here, it's gonna say pending for about 20 minutes or so. Once you do that, I'm gonna head over here and then it, it'll basically have the little check mark that says, oh, you know, you're in here. And if you don't wanna stay, you can leave the preview if you wanted to. You don't have to stay there indefinitely, so that's good. So yeah, once you do that, you probably want to exit out of this first, right? Then you would want to restart your Xbox app because there'll be an update. So you update the Xbox app. And then that's when you want to, you know, plug in whatever hard drive or SSD that you have your games on, and then it should recognize that. So if we go over to my library, and as you can see, there's Steam games like Batman Ar Arkham Origins, Counter Strike 2, and a few other a few other titles, right? And Spider Man Remastered, which is what we're going to be testing out today. So once you do that, you know, it it just launches through the Xbox app without even opening steam which is really good and you just sit there and play so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and i'm just gonna sit here and chat for a little bit as we play spider-man but why is this a well potentially a game breaking feature is because this is quite possibly the gateway to xbox being the one-stop shop to play basically everything both pc titles playstation titles and xbox titles so if they can really implement this into the next generation of Xbox, this will be like make them unstoppable, pretty much. Right, let me just load up a game here. A little bit. So yeah, a lot of people are downplaying this because it's like, oh, well, you know, it's just a another PC launcher. Oh, that's cool. This and that. They're not understanding the big picture. It's not clocking for them. What they don't understand is this is quite literally a glimpse into the future of Xbox, which is putting PC games okay, natively on Xbox. We'll do. How about that file? So that would be that crazy. So bad? At the restart. Damn, I haven't played this game in a like long time. Like, seriously, just imagine playing Marvel Spider Man one and two on your Xbox natively. We'll do. Through that file. What's in a Steam so emulator or whatever, that'd be pretty insane. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for this it. is quite literally a glimpse into the future. Is, As people don't realize, Fisk. man, is that Xbox is in no longer Fox. in competition with Sony. In fact, they're in their own league at this point. Like, they're more focused on making uh, a, you know, a universal experience for just gamers in general, not just xbox not just playstation they just want to basically God, put games to as many you know gamers hands as humanly possible and that's basically their angle right now so as people don't realize the console wars is over that joint is dated it's it's played out we go. no one really cares about it besides you know people on twitter who don't play games anyway so it really doesn't matter at that point uh -huh. that time. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh you know preview preview showcase just you know showcasing it off if you guys want to sign up for yourself i'll probably put a link in the description 
So, you know, if you're too lazy to, you know, type it out yourself, that's fine. And I'll see you next one. And let me know what you think about the future of Xbox and how cool would it be if they're actually going to implement Steam to run natively on Xbox. I think that'd be crazy. So, see you next one. Peace.